Good morning, YouTube. It's mine. That belongs to me. Good morning, YouTube. It's January the 8th, 2013. And hold on, because you know I love coffee in my cup. And I love having coffee with you in the morning. What's going on today? Let's find out. First things first, my computer's not fixed. And I didn't check the sound, so what you see is what you get. You might hear my voice nice and clear, or you might have a lot of static in the background. I don't know yet. But look at the uh, quality of the picture. I was playing with all the controls, and I think I got it pretty clear right now. Someone was recommending I get a new uh, high-definition webcam. Mine's not very old. It's just... Pastor Dave gets very forgetful, and I forget to tune it and adjust it and get it back into focus. What's going on in the world today? You know, I will, coming up, I will do a video on communion. We'll talk about that. And what communion represents. A lot of misconception in the Catholic Church. Oh, the Catholic Church. Hold on. Hold on. I don't have the article in front of me. I read today, it was a Huffington Post, front page, AOL News, Huffington Post. Now, the Catholic Church has come out and said that the Jews are the enemy of the Catholic Church. What next, everyone? Did you see? By the way, hold on. Hold on, more coffee. Boy, I hope the sound is working. Oh, my. Getting back to the Vatican. Of the Catholic Church. Did you see that video floating around YouTube? I don't know if I can find it again. It was sent to me by a viewer and a subscriber. Um, it was back last Easter, their Sunday Mass at the Vatican with the Pope, and they had this priest delivering this sermon. He's invoking Satan, Lucifer, and he is saying, Lucifer. You are Jesus, Father. Unbelievable. I don't know anymore. We are really, truly at the end times. I want to talk about judging one another today. We are to lift one another up in these end times. We are to lift up the church, the Church of Philadelphia. Because believe me, the Church of Philadelphia, very quickly, Jesus is going to break the sky. And the church is going to be caught up, lifted up, and taken out of here. But until that time, our focus needs to be on the lost, those that are unsaved. Give them hope. Give them strength in the Word. Feed them. Feed them milk first. Don't, don't give them hard food. Don't give them solid food. Feed them milk. Bring them back home. Bring the flock back home. And it's my prayer that Yahweh, Father God, opens that door to the lost to come in in these end days. Because soon, we have to lift one another up now, but soon this church of Philadelphia will be lifted up. Let's look at what Scripture says about judging one another. Then I'll be back. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1 through 5. Judge not that ye be not judged. Luke chapter 6 uh, verse 37 judge not and ye shall not be judged condemn not and ye shall not be condemned forgive and ye shall be forgiven let's go to the book of James chapter 4 verse 11 through 12 speak not evil one of another brethren brethren he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law, but if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. 
Let me give you one more. Um, Romans chapter 2, verse 1 and 3. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgeth, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest does the same thing. We have to be careful of what we preach. A lot of people we follow on YouTube are just people. They are not pastors. They are not ministers. They are out here uh, giving their opinions and judging others and the hatred and the meanness needs to stop. It's not of God. It's of the enemy. We are to have a pure heart, a loving heart, a kind heart. When Jesus, when you are truly saved and Jesus dwells within you, we are all sinners. We're all going to still make mistakes. We are a work in progress. But we have to change our heart. Change your heart today. Love one another. I'll be back.